taking you outdoors today, briefly. I did a lot of work in the winter. Uh, I built a lot of shelves. Uh, one for a pantry inside and one for a cabinet inside, as well as uh, several other projects, just drywall and all kinds of things. So um, the garage is a mess. Uh, I added a few things to the floor so we can test the new blower, the new leaf blower. And I also have a pile of wood chips uh, that were from us splitting logs. Uh, pretty good sized chunks in there. So we've got a couple of tests to run it through. But hey, let me introduce you to the new Portland corded uh, leaf blower. And we'll see what happens. It's very exciting to have a new tool, but only if it's necessary, you know. I'd rather save money, um, if possible, and fix the old one, which is what we tried to do. We're still working on that. We've got a couple of suggestions, but this was a time-sensitive issue. I'm trying to get the garage to the point where all of my workshop is on one side, and my wife can park her car on the other side. So let's make some progress on that today, shall we? Found this as probably the best deal I could find out there for 45 bucks, the Portland uh, three-in-one. So it's a blower, vacuum, and mulcher. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it now and then we'll test it out. So uh, no more delaying. I know everybody's interested in action and me standing there talking not action so let's get into it okay we'll see if it's actually it was rated at 325 cubic foot per minute or something like that <clears throat> and it says 230 miles per hour max speed okay so that's really cool they got their brand name on there just like it says and it's a sticker it's not embossed it's not anything uh special so thanks china actually i don't know where this is made. I'll have to look. oh wow okay so that's obviously going to suck stuff up so you can mulch the leaves oh they got room for stickers for yeah, I'm going to put stickers on it. That'll be fun. Okay, and this is... I think this is just the blower, because that's what it shows. Oh, okay, yeah. So, 2-speed, 12 amps, and it is corded. Because, like I said, everything's corded except for the battery set that we bought into. I really recommend not going into multiple battery sets unless you have fairly unlimited funds. Okay, it says unit will not run unless blower tube or bag is latched. So that's really good. So you're not gonna half get it latched and blow it off. That's good to know. So protected plug-in, kind of rubbery, kind of hard rubber. Looks like that's secured pretty good. I'm not really sure what this is for, but, uh, man. Okay, so this is your hand hold position. And is that it? Oh, hold on. Excitement. Okay, not that excited. Ah, okay, so we have a bag. That's pretty cool. Yep, that is pictured on there. That's a bag that hooks up for your mulch. And then I guess we're pouring that into the leaf bag. Alright, and instruction manual, safety instructions. The, uh, the one year warranty on this, because right now it's 90 days, one year warranty on this was $12. And, uh, I think there's a slight discount if you buy two years at once. But we did not buy the warranty because we don't believe in warranties. 
unless they're built in. We're not going to pay extra for a warranty. So since this is $45 and my next option was uh, a much higher 80 to 90 to $100, this is, this is good enough. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's your blade right there. And that looks pretty awesome. Eventually I'm gonna get a, an RPM meter and I can put it right there and we can see how many RPMs it's, it takes to get up to a 230 mile per hour. Wow, the wind is really picking up. Sorry for the, if there's a vocal problem. I thought it'd be fun to do a outdoor unboxing got R2-D2 over there in my SUV. I think this is going to be pretty awesome. Oh man, that's sweet. Oh, and there's the two speeds, kind of clicks into each speed. All right. Uh, that's the unboxing portion. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a test, get it all together here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So this is a pretty cool latch. It, it flips in and then as you bring this up, it actually locks right into that space. Really secure and then super easy to unlatch. Okay, on to the testing portion. Okay, I've set up the vacuum cam. We'll see how this goes. As you can see, I've got things set up in here, debris of all different shapes and sizes. Just made a mess for myself. We're gonna see how it picks that up. We're gonna have to see how it does against some wood chips. And uh, we'll go from there. Vacuum cam. Well, blower cam. <laughs> go pick all that stuff up. Okay, next. Okay, that's high speed. That's looking good. That is way more powerful. normal setup for blowing stuff on the ground then a little button right here press that comes right out okay then in order to do the leaf sucking you know, um, we'll just call it mulching anyway this goes on <clears throat> this comes off um, has a little lever Little latch comes off. And this thing fits into a slot right back here. Maybe. Yeah, you do have to put it in at an angle. Okay, there we go. And then there's a pin that drops down over here. Oh, to indicate underneath this, it, it hits a pin to indicate, okay, hey, I'm in 
mulch mode. So that is good. This I found out uh, is a little latch that it doesn't want to pull up. So I might have to force it in. Okay, and it locks that into place. All right. So not a really super simple, quick thing, but it's not bad. It's not terrible. So, you know, we have our handle here then for mulching. Anyway, so here, bag fits on where the other shoot thing did. So we're going to go get this hooked up and uh, suck some leaves up through here and see what happens. Oh! You know what? I just figured out a thing. So yeah, this one for blowing, and then they got a second handle for the sucking. Yay! <laughs> and then the cord's here. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll see how it works. So the uh, power switch is back here. It's not as convenient as it is for uh, the blowing part, but we'll see how it goes. Got a pile of leaves here. We'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I don't run into a stick, but I might suck one up just to see what happens. We'll see. Let's go. Okay, so let's see how chewed up the mulch actually got. Holy cow, that's nothing but powder. That's that's really good. I know there's pieces and stuff there, but yeah, that's gonna suck up a lot. I did actually suck up quite a few. <laughs> small stick so definitely you're gonna have to make sure that there are no twigs or anything attached uh, it did create quite a bit of dust I mean this was completely clean when we started I think I only operated it maybe a total of two to three minutes at the most and uh, <clears throat> so definitely clean your tools when you're done just like my dad used to clean all his tools and I guess my father-in-law too and gasoline he did I remember that now anyway don't clean this in gasoline is my point but um, <laughs> but, 
we definitely were able to move some stuff with the blower side moved uh, or sucked up a lot two bags full of mulch pretty quick with this um, I'd be interested in figuring out a way to make that a like maybe get an extra bag from Portland and take the the fitting for it that goes on here where you're sucking up the leaves maybe just put it into a giant bag or you know a tube that goes directly to a lawn uh, debris bag or something like that that would be cool but you know what it's a small bag do it for a few minutes dump it do it for a few minutes dump it shouldn't be a big deal so I didn't read this sticker until after but I tried it anyway before I read it and it says don't or it's not gonna run it's not gonna run unless you have something attached to it so that's good too so you can't you know mess up if you don't have the tube attached down here you can't ah! you know so that's good finger remover no um, and uh, it looked like a, a pretty good for 45 bucks man you can't beat it and you know that's not even on sale so I don't think I don't think it was was it on sale I don't know anyway 45 bucks pretty darn good and I don't think it was on sale and I didn't get any percentage off so uh, Harbor Freight for that um, haven't compared it to other ones I think it could have a lot more CFM um, I you know but for 45 bucks I mean you're getting a lot whereas you know you can go to three hundred dollars like three hundred dollars with a cordless 40 volt in some instances for a high-end brand so I'm pretty happy with it thanks and there's a warning to reduce the risk of injury injury uh, user must read and use identical replacement parts well yeah I mean I guess I'm all about OEM parts original manufacturer parts to reduce the risk of electrical shot do not use on a wet surface do not expose to rain store indoors for household use only wait household does that mean you can only use it inside no it's a leaf blower okay yeah dad jokes anyway do not vacuum objects such as nails or rocks or liquid of any kind huh well I wonder how wet the leaves would have to be to cause problems makes me think about that warranty anyway